Hi guys, so today's reading is going to be on how others view you. And remember, there may be some positive things in here, but there may also be some negative things in here. Remember to take the happiness and joy and love. Use the rest for growth if you feel like it is part of you. Look in the mirror, you know, see those things, free yourself from those things if you don't like them. But also remember that just because others see you a certain way doesn't mean it's true either. So we have four piles here, pile one, two, three, and four. Take a moment to get in touch with your intuition and your higher self and pick the pile you feel most drawn to. And I'm also offering personal readings through my Skype link in the description box below. You can message me and set that up if you're interested in it. And all the prices are down there as well. And we are going to get started with pile one. I'm going to try to make this a quick one today, but I ended up with a lot of cards. So we'll see. So people see you as someone who's very loyal, someone who's very happy-go-lucky, very positive, very joyful. Somebody who's very down to earth, a good friend. Somebody who really enjoys the natural things and really enjoys supporting the small businesses or local businesses as well, I think. Somebody who really is very for the planet and very earth conscious. Somebody who has, through a lot of time and a lot of effort and a lot of building within yourself, you have really been able to transform yourself and transform your life. You may even transform quite often. People may meet you one day and then meet you six months from now and you're a completely different person. Through time, you transform greatly. You're somebody very independent, very freedom-based, somebody who may also live in the U.S. About half of my viewers are in the U.S., so you could be somebody from the U.S. You could just really enjoy the idea of the United States. Also, you could just be somebody who is very freedom-loving, very freedom-based, somebody who believes in independence, somebody who believes in the rights of individuals, somebody who really believes in really bringing more naturalness to the world around you as well. People also see you as somebody who sees things from a very high perspective. Somebody who can really see all the details in a situation or a project. And somebody who may even receive messages a lot from your guides, from your ancestors, from your angels. <clears throat> somebody that really is very much an individual. We have the two of cups. The Eight of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, or the Hanged Man in this deck, and the Devil, or the Five of Wands in this deck. Let's see. So people may see you as very cheeky. People may see you as somebody who really sees things from a different perspective, though, who really takes time to observe situations, to see the underlying factors in situations. You may also have a lot of competition for your time or your attention, and you may just really enjoy spending a lot of time alone. You may really enjoy reading. You may be very smart or intellectual-based. You may see through others when they have negative intentions as well. You're somebody who really works very hard at your skills, at your crafts, at your job, your work, at learning and growing your mind as well. And you're somebody who really enjoys your friendships and enjoys having fun in your life with the people around you. You have very balanced friendships and very happy, prosperous friendships as well. You are very driven to meet your goals. Try not to be hard on yourself. Your singing is very soothing. Singing is a type of medicine for the soul, for yours and for others. You know your child better than anyone. Never think that you can't get through. Joy and inspiration follow you wherever you go. You light up the world with your passion. You have a balanced foundation in your thoughts. Express yourself with joy and optimism. So you also may be somebody who can be very goal-driven to the point of obsession at times. You could also be somebody who is very driven to follow your passions as well. Some people might even say chained to your passions in a way. 
you're somebody that knows that you can get through in situations as well. Um, you may also sing to your children a lot. If you have children, you may sing to your children. It may bring them a lot of peace, a lot of joy, a lot of happiness. You may sing to your pets as well if you have pets. You may be somebody very independent, though, very, very independent and very just in order to gain your respect, love, and trust, they have to be willing to give respect, love, and trust as well. You're not somebody who just gives that away to anyone. You're somebody who really has a very balanced foundation in your thoughts, and you really you express yourself with a lot of joy, inspiration, optimism, hope, and you really bring a lot of that to others as well as you're doing so. So that's what I got for this pile, and I really hope that you enjoyed this reading. I would absolutely love to hear your feedback in the comments, whether or not you enjoyed this reading, whether or not it resonated with you or your situation, whether or not um, you feel like people see the true you, or whether you feel like they may see something different than what you're trying to project to the world. And I hope that you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye. Okay, pile two. So pile two, people may really see you as being very faith-based. Somebody who really may even receive a lot of messages from otherworldly means as well. Somebody who's very spiritual-based. Somebody who really is able to let go of the concept of time, trusting that all things are meant to be, or all things that are meant to be will be in the right timing, and somebody who has a very high level of trust in the universe and the way that things are playing out in their life. You're somebody who knows that everything that is happening is happening for a reason, and you always look for that deeper meaning, that deeper reason, and you always try to make sure that you are learning and growing from every situation that you enter. You're somebody who really, really... There's a lot of nature-based in this pile as well. Pile 1 had a lot of nature-based energy as well, so you may be drawn to that pile too. But you're somebody who really believes in a new beginning, believes in a new world, somebody who really believes in taking the actions necessary to bring balance, to align with yourself and your goals, somebody who really defends the planet and defends the earth as well, and somebody who really is trying to build up the material means to be able to defend the earth as well, possibly. Somebody who really just loves animals, children, you know, and is always there to stand up for the little guy as well. We also have 30828 and 1922 on this key as well. You may be very connected to somebody who was born in 1922. If you are, let me know in the comments, because I think that's only for one or two of you maybe out there that you may be connected to somebody who was born in 1922 very deeply, or there may have been something that happened in 1922 that you feel very drawn to, very drawn to explore. Sit back and relax. Wyatt. Herps, original Aspir sarsaparilla, sorry, just Herps, original sarsaparilla, but it makes me think of Wyatt Herps. And we have this Earth here, too. So, yes, you're somebody very planet-based, somebody very Earth-based, somebody really very down-to-Earth, very grounded, somebody who takes care of the Earth, somebody who also may clean up litter, may volunteer to clean up the oceans. <clears throat> you may volunteer to do a lot of things that really help to bring peace to the earth and really help to replenish the earth. We have the wolf. So you're somebody who's also a leader, a spiritual leader, a inspirational leader. You're somebody who also people really do see as somebody that sometimes you might get a little bit irritated with others for not believing in the same things as you do or not seeing the things you see as important as so important to them and you really fight hard for the things that you believe in but I believe that people also see you as somebody who's a true leader somebody who can believe in the things that they are believing in and work towards them and lead through example but doesn't expect everyone else around them to follow everything that they have to believe in to a T. We have the Ten of Pentacles. 
We have the Eight of Swords or Justice in this deck. We have the Four of Pentacles. We have the Hermit or the Nine of Pentacles in this deck. And we have the Four of Wands. So, <clears throat> you may be somebody who might have a lot of money or have a lot of resources. And you really do try to handle those things in a very fair and balanced way. You are somebody who dresses nice, who does a lot for yourself, who holds on to a lot of that to take care of you and to build your foundations, but you're also somebody who likes to spread a lot of that, I think, too, or others see you that way. Some people may see you as somebody who's really greedy and holds on to everything you have and isn't willing to share any of it, but I think a lot of those energies are just people that are very jealous of the lifestyle that you lead, the life that you have, and the fact that you're willing to give a lot of your money to things that you believe in instead of just throwing it at people around you possibly as well but you're somebody who has a lot of caring solid stable connections or is really able to nurture and grow a lot of connections and a lot of stability in your community around you somebody who may have a lot of physical means or monetary means to do the things that they feel are good somebody that is very balanced in their judgment and somebody that's very solid and stable in their own thoughts and ideas and opinions somebody who is very independent and somebody who really is very introspective and enjoys going within themselves to understand themselves more so they can shine a light for the world around them as well you may be somebody who's a very highly valued teacher who has a lot of advice who has a lot of wisdom you may even be a science teacher if you're a science teacher let me know that would be kind of an odd combination with tarot, but, you know, anybody can believe in spirituality as well as science or as well as other things. You are somebody as well who really enjoys life and enjoys, you know, celebrating and going out and having a good time. Somebody who also enjoys doing that in a very stable, balanced way. And you have a very stable, balanced way of thinking as well. This reading's going a little longer. <laughs> you trust others to follow their own paths. Your paths, your support helps them to trust themselves. Yeah, like I was saying before, even though you lead and you lead by example, you also don't expect everyone to just follow suit without finding their own way first, without exploring their own options, without researching their own things. You trust them to follow their own paths. And in supporting others, you really allow them to trust themselves as well. Have confidence. You wouldn't have been chosen if you couldn't do it, but the choice to do it is yours. You always make things look easy. You are definitely smart. Peace and harmony follow you everywhere you go. Tr your trust, patience, and guidance makes others feel comfortable. So once again, you're somebody who's a leader and somebody who really advises others and helps them through hard times, but you're also somebody who can step back and allow them to go on their own journeys when you need to. You're somebody who has a lot of confidence and somebody who shows others how to have confidence in themselves shows others exactly how much strength they have within them and how much they can really overcome and get through because of all the things that you have been able to do that with in your life but also because you allow you help them to believe and see that if they couldn't handle it they wouldn't have been given these things 1333 is a number that may resonate with you as well it was just on the clock when i was saying that sorry I had a reading yesterday where she said 1333 in it like five times so apparently I really do need to go look this up and I should really be paying attention to this part right here so you're somebody who really makes things look easy as well somebody that really is able to spread a lot of peace harmony calm energy everywhere that you go you're somebody who's very trusting very patient and you really guide others and make them feel comfortable in what they're doing so that's what I have for this pile, and I really hope that you guys enjoyed this reading, and I would absolutely love to hear what you have to say in the comments below. I would love to know if this resonated with you, or if you feel like this is the type of person you are, if you feel like others see you as who you truly are or not. And I hope you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are, when you're watching. Bye-bye. So, oops, I lost one. Oh, here it is. I'm not sure exactly what any of these symbols here mean if I can get my camera to look at it clearly I'm really not sure what any of these symbols on this little bead mean ah here we go 
if you know, let me know in the comments below because I would actually really like to know what some of these mean or if you know what culture this is from because I just found it, honestly. So, or what language it is, maybe. It might be a language. Kind of reminds me of like Arabic or something. So anyway, people may see you as somebody very happy, very positive, very joyous, somebody very golden. Somebody who has a lot of financial or material means as well, and somebody who really gives a lot of gifts out to others in that way. <clears throat> a gift for you, only valid, maybe yet. We got this little gaming chip as well. Somebody who takes risks or takes gambles. You may even take risks or gambles that really pay off in a financial way as well. You may be a drummer. There's a drummer on the back of this. Um... Or you just may really enjoy music as well. Somebody that may lead the way and somebody that may do that in a very loud or bold way. By the way, 1776 and 1976 are on this as well. You may have even been born in 1976. My ex was born in 1976. <laughs> we also got 627, 4030, 1502, 1532, and 1157. Great job. Thanks for going above and beyond. Save and redeem. So you may be somebody who has been able to save and redeem yourself by taking the chance and the risk of doing things that may have been very above and beyond for others in your life. And um, really, people see you as doing a great job at going above and beyond, at really making at really making the effort in whatever it is that you're doing. And we also have this gold chain. So, you know, once again, I think people really do see you as very valuable, very, whether it's physically valuable, whether you have a lot of money, whether, you know, you have a lot of worth and value inside, people see you as very valuable. They see you as very beautiful. They see you maybe even as somebody who enjoys adorning yourself in ways as well. They also see you as somebody who is very introspective, somebody who loves to dive deep into things, somebody who really enjoys looking in the mirror and really is able to do that with a very graceful, calm energy. You're able to look at your situation and how you've been doing things and you're able to really pull your head out of your ass, honestly, and you're able to change situations. You're able to move forward with more knowledge and more wisdom than before. And you're somebody very graceful, very elegant, very beautiful, very flowing. Ace of Pentacles or the world in this deck. The Ace of Wands or Strength in this deck. The Eight of Cups or the Moon in this deck. We all have our best guides within us. If only we would listen. Seven of Cups or Seven of Cups in this deck. Wow. <laughs> and the Joker. So we have somebody who... We have... People see you as somebody who knows your own value, knows your own worth, and really isn't scared to release the past to have a new beginning, somebody who really is taking a lot of risks and chances in your life to build something and to go on this new journey, and you are really doing it from a strength of courage, or a place of courage and strength, and you really know that you are your best guide, and you look within for the answers that you seek, and you walk away from anything that is not serving your highest good, you walk away from all of the illusions, you walk away from all of the fake people, you walk away from all of the things that do not hold as much value. You may even walk away from money on a regular basis if it is not something that is to your highest good or value. You're somebody who is very different from others, I believe, and somebody who really prefers a lot of solitude and time alone, I believe as well. Somebody who's very imaginative, very creative, very inspirational, and somebody who really has the skills and talents needed to be able to build something in your life. You may even be somebody who's on the road to financial success and people see this very, very much so within you. Read between the lines. They may not be opening up because they are unsure of your reactions. Naturopaths are here to care for, nurture, and love all life. 
and you care for, nurture, and love all life with respect. And so far, all three piles have had something to do with being very earth-loving and very much connected to the planet around you and the animals, the people, and really caring about loving and nurturing all of those things. So if you feel drawn to either of those piles, go ahead and watch those as well. Be open to new ideas. Your ideas are golden now. So once again, you're golden. <laughs> People see you as golden and taking risks and chances on things that are really going to pay off for you. And um, there may be some people in your life that aren't opening up to you, but that's just because they're unsure of the way that you'll react because they know that you walk away from things that are fake, that aren't for your highest good. You walk away from people and cut people off when people are not behaving in the best way towards you and they really are unsure of whether or not you're going to do that if they fully open up to you and let you in on what's been going on examine your roots where where you have been allows you to see where you want to go moving forward you always turn up at just the right timing so you're somebody who always pops up at just the right timing you have great ideas and you really put those into action and you're somebody who really understands yourself and examines your roots and it allows you to be able to see where you want to go moving forward and you really inspire others as well on their own journeys and you also are able to examine situations and before they even open up to you and tell you things you actually probably know what's been going on the entire time anyway and you're just waiting for them to say it and it's because you're somebody who really looks in that mirror very deeply and so you see those things in others as well so that's what i have for this pile and i really hope that you enjoyed this reading i would absolutely love to know if this sounds like you in the comments below if this resonated with you as a person if other people see you as who you really are and I actually can pretty much guarantee it with this pile. I hope that you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye, guys. On to pile four. So for pile four, and I just happened to catch the 2211 that popped up. So for pile four, how do others see you? They see you as somebody who's very much in alignment with yourself and your path and your purpose somebody who's very balanced, somebody who's very grounded, very down to earth, and somebody who has a lot of very balanced connections and partnerships, and somebody who's coming into alignment with that if you haven't already. Somebody who may even be having a rebirth or a renewal of some sort in your life. You may have a past relationship that is healing, maybe a friendship, it may be a partnership, whatever it is. They see you as somebody who's very stubborn, very motivated very ambitious very driven and somebody who's very happy while working towards your goals as well i just noticed how much this little horse is smiling here and you know i've never actually even noticed that with how many times it's came out in this pile but i think they see you as somebody who's very happily working towards your goals and your stability in this brand new stable beginning where you are feeling very confident very solid very stable like you have everything you need within yourself and the universe is just going to provide the rest you're really living in a very faith-based way right now you're paying attention to the signs the synchronicities all around you you are somebody who can divine very hidden meanings in everything around you and you really see the truth and you are somebody who can really bring things to life and bring things to light as well somebody who really may be very good at manifesting as well somebody who's very good at manifesting very good at meeting goals somebody who is very good at freeing yourself from the past and somebody who may even receive a lot of messages from the other side as well with this bell I was kind of thinking about the ringing in your ears that can happen sometimes when you're dismissing that and uh, just somebody who's very stern solid you may be very stoic in some ways as well and this has 1776 and 1976 on it as well um, the last pile, pile three, actually had that on it as well. So if you felt drawn to watch that as well, go ahead and give it a watch. You're somebody who really believes in freedom, liberty, justice for all. Somebody that really is very focused, too. I feel a very focused energy here. Like you're focused on your goals, focused on your dreams, focused on bringing those into existence. And somebody who may be a very rare find as well. A very rare find. 
we have the beaver so you're somebody very hard working very strong very solid very stable somebody who is working steadily towards your goals towards building something for you your family your community and once again if you're drawn to pile three they are working very hard towards building their dreams and their goals and their desires we have the four of cups we have the knight of cups we have the seven of pentacles sorry we had in pile two there was someone reading as well <laughs> we have the knight of wands so you're somebody who really enjoys reading and alone time and really learning and growing you may read a lot of things that are more romantic as well you may read poetry a lot you may read romance novels and enjoy them you may really you know you may be very different than others at times as well you're somebody who may be stuck in your own world a lot of the time too somebody who is very loving you may even write poetry you may write poetry you may speak poetry your words may come out very poetic like you're somebody who really is very romantic very happy and joyous believes in your dreams very heavily and very deeply and somebody who learns and grows as you go through situations in your life especially emotional situations in your life you learn and grow from those things and you find peace after you've been through a lot of hurtful and painful emotional things you always find peace in your emotions you're somebody who really is very much very ambitious a very go a very much a go-getter somebody who is taking action to bring your dreams into being somebody who is working hard faithfully patiently somebody who is putting in determination and is really putting in faith persistence and Ha is really very focused on your goal focused on your target which may have a lot to do with building a life for your family or for your community or for the people that you love and really you may be encompassing a lot of people in that as well as you're thinking about it and you're really trying to grow your stability and your success but in a very down-to-earth way ask me to go on a date I'll say yes so <laughs> If there's somebody you're thinking about asking out, then go ahead and ask and you'll say and they'll say yes. But I think a lot of this is is that you give off this energy to others that if they ask you to go on a date, you'll say yes because maybe you're exploring your options right now, maybe you're really not sure of what you want in the love field right now and so you're really checking out new things and looking at new things as well. You may even be looking at someone in particular who may be very romantic as well may be very poetic as well and enjoys reading a lot of the things that you enjoy writing even the way that you move shows your confidence I can't look away you are very humble someone down to earth and easygoing every day as a parent is a chance to learn something and grow I don't know where we are going but I'd like to find out accept the changes coming your way go with the flow not all change is bad and so I see I think that people see you as someone who really accepts the changes that are coming your way and that you know that not all changes are bad and you really aren't sure where you're going but you'd really like to find out you've got a curious soul to you and you're somebody very humble very down to earth very easygoing somebody that really knows that every day is a new chance to learn something new and if you do have parent if you do have children you understand that in working with them you learn something new about yourself and about them every day as well which is an amazing quality to have as a parent and I think you may be because I think a lot of what you're working towards is being able to provide for your children the way that you move shows your confidence and someone can't look away if you ask them to go on a date they would say yes and you know what I'm gonna go ahead and pull I'm going to pull a couple love messages for you as well. I have not done that on any other pile. Uh, but I feel very drawn to pull a message for you for love. Because, you know, there may be something here you may even be watching to see what someone you love thinks about you. And this could be what they're thinking about you. And if you felt drawn to other piles, then that could really be what other people are seeing you as. Especially if you felt drawn towards pile three. This person is seeing you as a very down-to-earth person where I don't think that pile was seen as quite so down-to-earth. If they don't see your value, show them. If they still don't, walk away. I'm under your spell. 
from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. It goes, I'm under your spell. How else could it be? Anyone would notice me. It's magic I can tell. It's a good song. I'm not singing the rest of it, though. Own your own mistake, but know that it takes two. You know, own your own mistakes, but know that it takes two people to make the mistakes as well. And know that um, you might be feeling like you're under a bit of a spell. Or they may even see you as, you know, they may see you as somebody who has put them under a spell. Because maybe they don't feel so good when they're not in your energy. Or vice versa, you could feel not so good when you're not in their energy. But own your mistakes and know that it takes two to make mistakes. And if they don't see your value, show them. If they still don't see your value, walk away. Be sure to cut off those energies that are not treating you as you should be treated and valuing you the way that you should be valued. Release your fears and your anxieties. Because when you're allowing fears and anxieties to guide your actions, then you are creating conflict and chaos in your life. When you're allowing peace and calm to lead your actions, you are able to hit your target more fully. We also have, I'm in love with your soul. And I want to show you support, throat chakra. So whoever this person is, though, they would like to be able to express themselves and show you their support and what you're doing and where you're going and goals you're working on. Because they are very much so in love with your soul, deep down on a deep level. And they really... They do see your value, but maybe they have not shown that to you in the past because they have their own fear and anxiety issues that are causing throat chakra issues. But maybe you guys are mirroring as well, and maybe you guys have really behaved in the same manner a lot of the times with each other, where both of you are having some throat chakra issues and aren't saying what you really mean. And it's time now to express your true self and to really put yourself out there. So... I hope that you enjoyed this reading, and I would absolutely love to know if this resonated in the comments below. I would love to hear if this sounded like you, or if you know who this person is, or if this fit with your situation. And I really hope that you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye, guys.